Hot 1079, hotspotatl.com. It's Kay Simone, and we are here gearing up for the premiere of the Black and Blue movie that is set to hit theaters this Friday, October 25th. We're going to talk to the main cast and get inside of the head of the director of this film, Mr. Dion Taylor. Make sure you keep it locked right here to the Black and Blue movie premiere only with Hot 1079, hotspotatl.com. I know for Black and Blue, you're playing Missy. Tell me a little bit about your character. My character is someone who is very clear on uh, what it means to be loyal and, and respect the code of, of what's happening in the street. And also just, she plays a mother who is very overprotective of her son and, and for really good reasons. As, as being black in America, we're very vulnerable when it comes to the police and you know just wanting to protect our loved ones and ourselves. I, I play the childhood best friend of Naomi Harris and um, you see the differences in choices that our characters have made and, and where those choices have led them today. So when you speak of loyalty and you're saying the differences, I know we don't want to give too much of, uh, right. about the movie, right. but are we being more loyal to the street code? Or are we being more loyal to the childhood friend? Oh no, we're being more loyal to the street code and the childhood friend just happens to be on the wrong side, which is the blue side, and we don't really uh, support that. As, as, as for a lot of us in inner cities, uh, the police are supposed to protect us and that's not what happens. So it's the street code that she's keeping loyal to. See, I'm not mad at that. I'm not, that whole Philly came all out too. <laughs> that, that Philly came all out. <laughs> so what are, your, what are your expectations about the movie? How do you, how do you feel everybody is gonna be receptive to the movie? Wow, um, it's just an authentic movie about what's happening today. And, and it's gonna resonate with everybody. At least that's our hope. Our hope is that this film is gonna spark change. Uh, there, there are a lot of issues that are being spoken about and highlighted in this film that are mirroring what we're going through as a country, as a black culture. So uh, this film is for us to follow Naomi Harris's character and be the change and be courageous enough to speak up even if it's not the most popular thing to do. You are playing Alicia West in Black and Blue. And I know that you're coming from England. Yeah. So how was it channeling your character? I mean, it, it was a challenge, but because it's always a challenge for me, you know, in, with every role I take on. Um, but particularly when I know that I'm representing a community which actually I'm not intrinsically, historically from. Um, so I just do my research. But I have to say on this one, I was so lucky because I had Tyrese. And Tyrese was like, I know that you're not from this kind of community and I'm going to help you. I'm going to take you under my wing. Um, when you, your accent is off, I'm going to tell you and I'm going to be there for you. And he really was. I couldn't have done it without him. So not coming from this type of community, you know, because I know England and, you know, America, the, the things that we go through are fairly similar, sometimes mainly I'm different. Glad, I'm, glad, I'm glad you say that because actually I think a lot of people think that the, the differences between the black community in America and England are so wild, wildly different. They're actually not. You know, we have the Black Lives Matter. We have countless, you know, um, black deaths um, at the hands of police officers who never came to justice. Uh, so it's... You know, it is very, very similar, but the scale in America is just vast in terms of the extent of police brutality and extent of corruption is much, much larger than in England. Absolutely. So now that we know that and now when you took on this role, what did you hope or what are you hoping that everyone is going to take from your character, take from the movie overall? I think most importantly it's not about delivering answers but it's about igniting debate around these issues so spreading you know putting a spotlight on what is happening currently and saying this is wrong and we need to find solutions to this that's number one and also the 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 moral answer is, I think, that we've got to stop looking outside of ourselves for other people to do something to change situations. In fact, we have to say, the buck stops with me, and I'm an individual, and what can I do to make a difference? What can I do to be the change? And that's what I think is a really powerful message in the movie, that, you know, it's the, the thing that Alicia says at the end of the movie, be the change. Absolutely. And last but not least, okay, so your character is caught in the middle, right? So. You know, we know that she sees the murder and captures the murder on her body cam, right? So now she has to run away from the corrupted cops, you know, who are after her. She has criminals after her. But then the civilians don't trust you. 
you know so how was that channeling that part of the movie lonely it was a really lonely experience in fact my mum came to watch the movie and she she couldn't cope she actually hid in the bathroom like for half the movie and one of the reasons that she said that she couldn't cope was because she said nobody was helping you why was nobody helping you <laughs> so um it's a it's a really tough position to be in you know there you are trying to do the right thing and i think that's a really um, prime example of what it's like in real life actually because sometimes we think we're doing the right thing and it should feel good and we should get all this support and it doesn't happen like that in fact that often when we do the right thing it takes us into a really uncomfortable zone where actually we don't get support but the thing is you have to continue to follow your gut and still do the right thing anyway and that's what makes alicia so special that no matter what no matter that the community does, doesn't support her her own police officers don't support her she still says no i'm gonna stand up for what is right so dion yes. the director of this phenomenal film black in blue how are you feeling about this i'm feeling amazing right now you know being in atlanta i love atlanta i'm thinking about moving to atlanta but um i love it man you know anytime you can make a film and people are interested in it and want to see it and and the results are people love it and they want to talk about what is inside of that film you have to be floating on air. You know what I mean? Like there's nothing there's nothing better for a filmmaker than to have those things happen. So here's my question to you. When you got the script in your hand, did you automatically see the direction that you wanted to take this movie in? Immediately. And and it was it's strange because I'm an independent filmmaker and the studio actually gave me the script. And my original, and they'll tell you, my original was like, no, nah, I'm cool. Because I had been working for the last 14 years by myself. Every movie independent, every movie independent. I was had no, at that point, you know, we had just finished The Intruder, so that worked. So I'm like, oh, we good. So at that point, I'm like, I don't want to do any studio, anything. But when I read this screenplay, a guy named Eric Paquette handed me the screenplay. He said, you should read this. And he was right. And when I read the words and, and I morphed into what was going on, on, you know, in the paper, and I'm like, there's no way in the world I cannot not do this movie. It's the first ever film to have a black female lead as a cop is dealing with body cams and her seeing something and trying to run to the community. And I was blown away. And, you know, I took that energy to set with me and worked my ass off to create this film. And the movie's unorthodox based on the fact that normally you get one kind of movie or you get the other. Normally you get a tour movie, which is a movie that's gonna be all about awards, all about telling you a message, all about all about you not going to see it, right? Then you're gonna get action films, which is all about action and nothing else. So this movie, I really felt, I was just like, how do you merge them together? And I had played around with a film called Traffic earlier that merged sex trafficking and a thriller. And uh, I wanted that to be like this, but on a higher level, and we were able to do that. Absolutely, you did do it. Yes, you yes, did. You did yes, do it. We yes. are here at the premiere right now, and yes. you did do that. I'm excited too. I'm, I'm excited as well. I saw the I saw the trailer, and I was like, oh, I'm going to go see this, right? I'm excited. Yes. So one thing that I can say when I watch when I watched the trailer, I thought that the spin on it was really good because yes. we're talking about black a black cop right. in the community who you know you already are in a black community where black people don't trust the cops. That's right, at all. You know, so, Since birth. absolutely. <laughs> Yeah. So how can you, how can you tie this movie into what's going on in the, in society right now? Well, it's relevant. I mean, someone would be lying to you if they told you they made a movie about this, what's going on, and then it just falls right into the zeitgeist of what's going on in the country. This was already happening for a long time when we made the film. It was not this polarizing. Nine, ten months ago, it was not this polarizing. You know what I mean? What has happened is. Uh, art is imitating life because what happens is now you get to the point where you're getting ready to release a movie and all across the news is Dallas two times. You know what I mean? Matiana Jefferson to the young man where the police went in his front room of his house and killed him. And when that happens, you have to understand the universe is doing something a little bit different for you and your movie. And you're just thankful that you have the right message. You're not trying to preach to anyone. You're not trying to tell someone why you're right. This is a message about just one line, which is be human, have integrity, and be the change. No matter who you are, you can't change me, I can't change you, but I can change how I feel. And hopefully if you see that I'm trying to make a change, it might rub off on you. So you say the word integrity. Yeah. You say the word integrity. And when you say that, how do you, what, what do you feel like 
obviously we say that police lack integrity. A lot of, we're not gonna say all. At times, not yeah. all at all, not all at all, right. But how do you think this will inflict that mind, that police officer that had gone through this or is going through this, to step up and have the integrity to come forth? Yeah, well sometimes, look, we have a lot of police officers going to see this movie. And what I think it does is it just brings a message to the light. Sometimes as people, we might sit down somewhere and see something and it triggers something for us. You might be dealing with something and you might flip through that Instagram post and be like, damn, I feel just like that. And somebody say, I feel like that too and this is how, what I did. Sometimes all it takes is one push for you to be like, damn, I should go do the right thing. You know what I mean? And what I'm hoping this movie does is for police officers, for people that work in convalescent homes with old people, for people that work in childcare, for nannies, it's, it goes on down the road. If you see something wrong, if you see something wrong, this is for real, like I'm going back to kindergarten now. If you see something wrong, open your mouth and say something. Do you know what I mean? If something is off, open your mouth and say something. It could change the whole complexity of what we're dealing with right now. And that's all the movie is saying. Oh, I loved it. I, I loved it. it. It gave it a big twist, a different twist, you know, to the whole situation with black and blue, you know? Yeah, yeah, Being yeah. a black cop in a right. black community, you know, having to fight for, yeah. I don't want to tell so much about the movie. Well, but, well, the, no, it's, but you're right. Not that you're telling so much of the movie, but you do have to fight for what's right. Exactly. And, and Alicia West, which is Naomi Harris' character, she fought for what's right. And that's important because it's, too, it's been going on too long. So we have to change the narrative and the dynamic of what's going on in our community. And when people see this film, I promise you they will change the narrative, how they think, how they process, how they come into the community as officers. Absolutely. And most of us were definitely, or most of us are like. Nef Nafisa's yes. character. Most of us are really like her because it's like, we don't want to, yeah, shout out to my Philly girl right there, Word. okay? <laughs> Word, you know? But most of us are really like that. That's how we act towards the police. We don't care what the truth is. It's like, we don't trust you. So why why do I want to believe you? And even when the proof was right there, yeah. you yeah. know, she yeah. still was like, nah. She was she a part of it. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. you know? So I really enjoyed the movie. You did your thank thing. You. Thank you, you so did. much. Listen, yeah. I was like, oh my God, please don't kill Tyree. Please. He did not <laughs> die. But uh, yeah, you know, y'all got to watch the movie so y'all can see what happened. But he did not die. But he, his character, it, a lot of layers is in this movie. Yeah. Because this is Naomi. Shout out to Naomi. This is her first lead role. And this is the first movie for an African-American woman to be a black cop lead. It's never been done on film. And then this is not this is not Fisa's first mo uh, movie. She does uh, she Black Lightning, but she don't. She has TV. Yeah. She this is her first film, feature film. You know, shouts out to her and shouts out to Tyrese because we've never seen him in this capacity. Na uh, uh, Naomi protected him. Yes, that is very true because we always see him be the protector, and that that is very true. That was a different dynamic of it. But now I'm gonna tell you, Naomi did her thing. Okay, I was like, yes, black woman, yes. 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 Yes, yeah, shout out to the black women out here, okay, holding yeah, it down. The, the theater went crazy for Naomi. Everything she did, they went crazy. But it gave it empowered women, you know, especially black women, but empowered women all over the world. No matter what your occupation is, be strong in your stance, man, and stay in your truth. Bless you, man. Appreciate you, baby. Thank you. One of the takeaway messages for me on this movie is it's not a movie. This is a statement. This is us saying to Hollywood, we want you to keep making movies that speak to what we actually live. Y'all want to keep making slave movies about what happened in the 50s and 60s, or sorry, earlier than that, and I get it. But there's so many more things that we're currently living and experiencing and having to mentally, emotionally, and psychologically and spiritually navigate through. And Movies like this don't normally get greenlit in Hollywood because it's so raw, it's so uncomfortable, it creates these experiences that's like, oh my God, we don't want too many more people to highlight the truth of what it truly feels like to be black in America. Capturing corruption and murder on her body cam as a police officer throughout the entire movie police officers are trying to kill a police officer because they don't want her to turn in what she captured on her camera. I'm not giving away the movie, you've seen the trailer. 
This black and blue movie matters. Hot 107.9, hotspotatl.com. It's Kay Simone, and you know it's a wrap for Black and Blue, which hits theaters Friday, October 25th. I'm telling you, this is a movie you do not want to miss because there's so many angles, so many things that they're touching on. So you got to change the narrative to change the perspective. Once again, this is your girl, Kay Simone, right here with Hot 107.9, hotspotatl.com.